each fortnight I'm encouraging you to give some origami a go. It's a good way of just relaxing, focusing the mind and discovering what's possible with so little. Um, I have been aware really that I'm, I tend to neglect the animal folds and it's something of course we love animals um, and how endearing it is to make something very sweet that's an impression of an animal, clearly not realistic. Um, and I'm keen to encourage people who maybe you know wouldn't naturally do origami um, so to join me in trying to bring a bit new so I'm pushing and challenging myself a little bit um, I was wanting to do an elephant actually someone ages and ages ago asked me to fold an elephant it's a classic thing to do um, and I wasn't wanting to show anything too complicated but it needs to look elephanty enough to be worth Offering, but I thought this was quite lovely. Um, it's a little bit of an adapted one, so just to show you, I picked up this book secondhand a while ago. Um, it's from the 1980s. Um, it's a book, Origami in Colour, and um, let's see, it's by Sezulal Ata Shechia. Um, and it's a yeah, it's a lovely book, it's kind of lots of photographs. Um, and so there's an elephant in there which is what this is based on um i've actually ended up modifying it so it's not quite that so it's inspired by that and some of these diagrams are traditional some are not it's a little bit hard to tell um but this is somewhere in between so i hope you'll enjoy this it felt to me quite elephanty without being too difficult so join me and let's make a little cute elephant or as big as you want maybe this is your chance to do a really big elephant um so I'm going to grab some paper. Um, if you have any grey paper, that would be fantastic. I'm going to really quickly colour one side so you can see. So first of all, I'm just going to take an A4 piece of paper and fold it in half. Um, as I said, I think origami, the thing I love about origami is to try to challenge yourself. Be very kind when you're doing that. Um, acknowledge that things can be a little scary when they're unknown but to know that you can overcome that and you can achieve, I think will help grow your confidence. Um, yeah. And I think it's all about the unknown. It's lovely when you master something, but it's also lovely just to gently find new directions as well. So that's what I'm trying to do for myself too. So I'm gonna remove this rectangle. So turning it over and lifting it up. And I'm going to quickly add some colour. You know, you could even do some painting or drawing or it has some grey paper or it can be white, it's fine, whatever. Or it can be some scrap paper with some writing because a bit of a greyness. So I'm going to really quickly put a little bit of grey here. You can see what it's like. And you can do things really quickly. I find this really liberating and relaxing. Just do a quick bit of a scribble of all them origami because it's almost the opposite the origami is very controlled and neat and tidy and this is a chance for me just to go a little bit wild with a pencil and enjoy letting out that energy in a different way again you feel better i think for expressing yourself so there we go that's my homemade gray paper right so we'll get a folding um i think the interesting thing about animal origami is it's often each one is very unique so it's not so mathematical which which yeah is is lovely and allows a bit of self-expression as well so whatever you fold will be a bit different to mine and that's great so we're going to take the outside and bring it to that middle line i'm going to bring the board down there we go so the outside along that diagonal line again be nice and exact though because it'll all work well that way here we go, so one side and then the other side. There we go. Like so. And our next step is to take the bottom and bring that corner up to touch there. So again, keep it all nice and lined up. So this will end up being the head and the body and the tail. It's hard to imagine at the moment, but so we're going to add in the tail. So to make the tail, we're going to take this and fold it down. As I said, it's a bit of a guesstimate. Your, your one will be different to mine and that's fine. So this is going to be my tail there. 
Right. So now we're going to turn it over like so. And I'm going to take the top, fold it in half. And I'm. this is going to be a head. I'm imagining it's going over that tail and sticking out a bit. It is just a bit of a guesstimate, honestly. Something like that. And it's all lined up. There we go. And next, we're going to add another little fold here. So you're going to lift this up. So it's got a little tuck left behind. So it's down here and I'm lifting it up, keeping it there in the middle. Right, this is the basis of some kind of an elephant. It doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> we're going to take this and fold it in half along there, along that halfway line. There we go. Now what you've got already now is the basis. The bottom of the elephant is kind of sitting down with a little tail and this will become a head. At the moment it doesn't look like a head, it's looking a bit more like a bird. Maybe this is something you could play with and make a bird instead. Um, but what we're going to do is tilt down the head. So to do this I'm going to feed in the side from this side so it's like this. I'm going to end up folding from the bottom up there. So this is all a bit of a just feeling around, being kind to yourself. But what I'm trying to do <laughs> is fold inside. So this gives a little bit of a sort of a, a leg there. And I'm reaching that up so it's going to give a bit of an ear, kind of. And I want to do the same on the other side. So turning it round, I have to say I've also shied away from animal folds because they're a little bit harder and I'm keen to not have things too difficult. But you know what, sometimes we need to push ourselves a bit, don't we? So again, I'm pushing that inside out. I hope you're having some success here. Just play around, be kind to yourself. And I'm squashing it down there like so. And this is becoming, can you see the little tail, the body? There we go. Right, we are getting there. <laughs> we need to give it a trunk. This is a relatively simple one, but I thought it was rather lovely. As I said, I've just adapted. I've looked at things and then just played around. So it's a mixture of other people's as well as me playing around. I think most people would come up with this one after a while. Right, we're going to give it a trunk. So I am pressing in here, let me see, try to remember what I did. <laughs> so I am pressing in here, thinking that this is about the size of the head that I want. Pressing in here and squeezing at the sides. As I said, it's a bit of a guesstimate. Let me show you just one more time. So I started pushing in here. And then squeezing up, I'm thinking the trunk going straight up there. And it can almost imagine it could be almost tossed there. I'm being very imaginative there. <laughs> um, and then I think actually it definitely doesn't want a complete point. It's an elephant, they don't have pointy tips. So just take the very tip and I think tuck it in, fold it in so that it's a bit more flat at the end. I mean, you could even yeah separate it a little bit more but I've just tucked under that point so it disappears and I think just the almost the next stage is to push down to make the top of the trunk so it's the nice little trunk telling over like so like that there we go yeah just one more step the ears let's give it some ears so I'm just flapping this up. Again, you can keep it a little bit kind of curvy and a little less sharp lines. So it feels a little bit like a big flapping ear. I don't know if it's an African elephant or an Indian one. I may be on the same on the other side. It's definitely using your imagination once you're onto animals. Obviously you could do very realistic, but I do like just the suggestive. It's, it's lovely. So there we go. Maybe you could also make a little family of elephants. Um, I'll show you mine so far. So yeah, there we go. Ones of different sizes. 
um, <laughs> like so. See how little you can get with your elephants. I hope that's worked for you. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. <laughs> Bit of nellying around. <laughs> yeah, happy folding. Thank you.